Hi everyone, this is Officiant Amber streaming live on YouTube today. As a professional wedding officiant, I get lots and lots of couples asking me questions about what a wedding officiant does. So that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. First of all, everyone knows when they get married that they have to have a wedding officiant. But what exactly does a wedding officiant do? It's definitely a lot more involved than somebody standing up at the altar area and speaking for 15 minutes. There's a lot more that goes into it than that. First of all, um, you know, for personalized ceremonies, an officiant spends anywhere from eight to 10 hours per ceremony. And the bulk of that takes place before the wedding even happens. First of all, um, for a personalized ceremony, the officiant will need to secure you, uh, secure your booking and make sure that that person is available for your wedding date, give you all of the information that you need as far as booking a wedding officiant. And officiants do tend to book very quickly because usually there's only one officiant and a lot of officiants only take one wedding per day. So as you can imagine, Friday evenings and Saturday evenings are prime time for officiants. So if there is someone you're interested in, I highly recommend booking them quickly and early in your search for vendors. Um, so just so you know, interviewing couples takes some time, um, but it is a wonderful, wonderful way for the officiant to get to know you as a couple, to find out how you want your ceremony to feel and what you want the tone to be. You may want something very casual and lighthearted. You might want something sentimental and sweet. You might want your audience to cry, or you might want them laughing throughout the wedding. So a professional officiant will really take the time to get to know the two of you and find out what kind of ceremony you want. From there, they're able to craft a personalized ceremony script for the two of you based on that information that they learn about you during the meeting. So they find out, do you want any unity rituals? Do you want it to be religious or non-religious? What special things or aspects do you want to include in your wedding ceremony? So that's what the interviewing process is really all about. Second of all, the officiant will talk to you about the wedding ceremony process. Even though you may have been part of several weddings in the past, that doesn't necessarily mean that you know all the ins and outs of a wedding ceremony. So that's part of the officiant's job is really to talk you through the wedding ceremony process so that you understand how all of that flows and what's to be expected of you as a couple. Uh, for instance, one of the things that you'll need to do before the wedding even happens is obtain a marriage license from your county. So your officiant will be able to give you information on obtaining your marriage license. And that really is the most important aspect of an officiant's job, is just informing you about the marriage license process. Each state and each county varies very, very greatly in all of the requirements for obtaining a marriage license. Some states have waiting periods. Some states don't. Uh, some states require witnesses to sign off in your marriage license. Others don't. So just make sure you check with your officiant to find out what the requirements are as far as obtaining and using your marriage license. The bulk of the time that it takes uh, for an officiant is the writing, the creative aspect of the ceremony. So the officiant will spend several hours taking that information from your initial meeting and crafting a ceremony script that's written for the two of you and all about the two of you. So it makes it really personalized. It makes it for the two of you and just make sure that it's your wedding and has all of the things that you guys want to include in your wedding ceremony. So writing and editing is a, is a time consuming process, but it is well worth it in the end to make sure that you have a beautiful ceremony script that the two of you will remember for the rest of your lives. A professional officiant will also be able to help you write your vows or edit your vows to make sure that they convey, convey the message that you want to um, send to your loved one on your wedding day, as well as give you ideas on unity rituals. So perhaps your officiant will have a few ideas that you may not have thought about, such as including, um, say, a sand ceremony or a candle lighting ceremony or doing an anniversary box or planting a tree. So your officiant will have some ideas for you there as well. 
Then on the day of your wedding, your officiant will show up early, touch base with your other vendors, just to make sure that everybody's on the same page. So for instance, when I show up at a wedding, I touch base with the photographer and the videographer first, um, just so that if there's anything unique about the ceremony, such as a sand ceremony or um, a tea tasting ceremony, something like that, the photographer and videographer will then be prepared so they know where they need to best position themselves during the ceremony to capture those special moments so that it's not something that happens so quickly that it's missed. And that way all of the vendors are on the same page because as the officiant, they will know your ceremony intimately and are able to then convey that information onto your other vendors so they can all work together to make sure that your wedding ceremony goes smoothly and without a hitch. Then finally, um, the officiant will then organize or wrangle all of your bridal party, line everybody up, make sure everybody is in the go position, and then of course, usually head up the processional, officiate the ceremony, and then um, follow up and conclude with the recessional when everybody filters out of the ceremony area. They will then make any announcements that you need made to your guest, maybe um, telling them where to head for the reception or the cocktail hour or make any other announcements as far as that goes. Then finally, the officiant will conclude the ceremony and start on the legal paperwork. So that may require um, obtaining your witnesses and making sure that they have the proper identification and all of the information required that they need in order to complete their portion of the marriage license. Then once the ceremony has been complete and the marriage license is signed by both the witnesses and the wedding officiant, congratulations, you're considered married. Your officiant will then make sure that everything is completed on your paperwork, the legal paperwork, and then they are responsible for submitting it to the county on your behalf. So each county has different rules and regulations as far as how long um, they give the officiant to return that legal paperwork back to the county, but that will be their responsibility. And then usually the officiant will send a follow-up email congratulating you on your marriage and letting you know that the marriage license was sent. Once that process is complete, your officiant will go through information with you in regards to changing your last name, if either one of you are changing a last name, or how to obtain certified copies of your marriage uh, certificate, which is proof of marriage. So if you plan on changing your name or getting on each other's insurance plans or need it for some other purpose, that would be uh, information to ask your officiant as well on how to obtain those certified copies of the certificate. Um, finally, your wedding is an investment. The officiant really is the least expensive component of your ceremony, yet I would argue that they are the most important because really without the wedding officiant and the marriage license, your wedding is simply one big party, which is fun, but not legal. So please make sure that you do a little research on wedding officiants in your area if you're considering hiring a professional officiant. Check reviews, log on to their website, see what other couples have had to say. What have they loved about that officiant? What did that officiant do for them to make their ceremony memorable? Mm -hmm. um, do they create personalized ceremonies? Do they give you assistance as far as uh, throughout the process, helping you with vows and so forth? Uh, if you need additional tips, I have recently published a book that is now available on Amazon called Navigating Your Wedding Ceremony by Officiant Amber. So that book is now available as an ebook and in paperback on Amazon. So for additional tips on hiring wedding officiants or other vendors for your wedding, please check it out on Amazon. Thanks for joining. I'm Officiant Amber. My website is www.officiantamber.com, or you can chat with me on Instagram and Facebook at Officiant Amber. Thanks again. Have a great day.